Derivatives 1.1 Introduction to Derivatives Hello all, welcome to the Derivatives series. In this series we will look at modules describing derivatives products. Let's begin this module with introduction to derivatives. At the end of this module, you should be able to define derivatives, list the characteristics of derivatives, define the types of players, mention the pros and cons of derivatives, illustrate derivatives with an example, name the types of derivative products. What is a derivative? Derivative is a financial instrument with a value that is derived from an underlying asset or group of assets. The most common underlying assets for derivatives are stocks, bonds, commodities, currencies, interest rates, and market indexes. They are used for various purposes like hedging, speculation, and arbitraging. Hedging is a risk management strategy employed to offset losses in investments. It is kind of insurance where people insure themselves against a negative movement of security prices to reduce the impact on their investment. Speculation is trading based on assumptions and hunches to make profit from rising and falling prices. It is a short-term buying and selling strategy and involves high amount of risk of loss or gains. Arbitrage is a strategy where the investor will buy a security at a low price in one market and sell it for a higher price in another, thereby making profit from the difference. Let's have a look at key pros and cons of derivatives. Pros. They provide a way to lock in prices. They help in hedging against risk. They can be leveraged and they help in diversifying the portfolio. Cons. Since its value is derived from an underlying asset, it becomes difficult to determine its value. It is subject to counterparty risk since it is traded over the counter as well. It is complex to understand and it is sensitive to supply and demand factors. Let's understand this with an example. Assume there is a farmer who is growing wheat. He expects to sell his produce, say 10 kgs, after 4 months at 2000 rupees per kg. But he is afraid of some damage due to untimely rain predictions. To mitigate the risk, he approaches a commodities broker and enters into a contract to sell 10 kgs of wheat after 4 months at 2000 rupees per kg. Now assume that the price falls to 1900 rupees due to large supply in the market. What would happen? Yes, the farmer would receive 2000 rupees and gains 100 rupees. On the other hand, after four months, if the market price rises to 2050, what might happen? Yes, you're right. The broker would pay 2000 rupees since the contract price is 2000 rupees and he gains 50 rupees from this transaction. This way, the farmer is locking in prices and hedging against the risk through getting into a contract with a commodities broker. This transaction very simply explains how a derivatives contract works. Now, let's look at the types of derivatives. Majorly, there are four types of derivatives. Forwards, futures, options, and swaps. Forwards contract is where one party agrees to buy sell a physical asset or security at a future date and price with customized terms, size, and settlement process and is traded over the counter. Futures contract is a forward contract, but its process is standardized and it is exchange traded. The losses and gains are settled daily, unlike at delivery. Options contract is an instrument that gives a right, but not an obligation, to buy sell assets at a particular price. It can be traded either through an exchange or over the counter. Finally, swaps contracts are equivalent to series of forward contracts. 
Swaps implies exchange of cash flows arising out of interest rate differences, etc. And it is traded over the counter. Here, we have come to the end of this module. Now, you should be able to define derivatives. List the characteristics of derivatives. Define the types of players. Mention the pros and cons of derivatives. Illustrate derivatives with an example. Name the types of derivative products.